uh, Peter Fisher here. In the last uh, webcast uh, I did, I described how to change the MySQL um, column definition for, of null from uh, not null back to null and, and vice versa. In this uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add a column, how to delete a column, and how to rename a column from the uh, uh, MySQL table. So in MySQL at the moment, and if I was to describe the customer table, it would be exactly as it was beforehand. So uh, we want to add another column here, and we want to add the email address. So to do that, we type in alter table, and we issue the uh, table name, which is customer. We issue the command what, that we want to alter the table with, so add, and then the email underscore address, which is the column name or field name address. We want to give the uh, data type of that column, which is varchar60 or whatever you wish to choose. And uh, we're going to make sure that it's uh, not null as well. Okay, good. So uh, there we go, we've added the email address in. Now, what happens down the line if uh, your application changes and instead of email underscore address, you need to change that to be email? Now, there's one or two ways you could do this. Uh, the first way, which isn't the recommended way, but I'll show you anyway, is uh, dropping the uh, email underscore address and uh, re-adding a new column called email. Okay, so we would do that by alter table customer and it's uh, drop, that's the drop command, email underscore address. Okay, so there you go, it's, it's been deleted. So now I wish to um, I, I ugh, sorry. I wish to uh, just chain re-add the email. So there you go. So that's that's one way of of renaming, shall we say, the column by removing it and then re-adding the new column. It's not great. The reason why it's not great is because uh, you could potentially have. Um, uh, a lot of records in this data in this table, and uh, if you drop one of these columns, then the data will be removed, obviously because it's attached to that field. Um, so instead, what you want to do is rename the column, the field name on the fly, um, which is what I'll demonstrate now. So um, let's have a look. So yes, it's it's called email now. So I'm going to just drop that again. And rename that back to, um, uh, to da, 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 email address. So bring it back to as it was. Fine. Okay. Now I want to um, I want to change that column. I I don't want to drop it. I don't want to re-add it. I want to change it. So alter table customer. And I want to change. That's the command I want to give it. I want to change it to email underscore address. I want to, sorry, I want to change email underscore address to be email. And I can't just do that because I need to also give the um, options that define uh, that column, that email column. So I need to do varchar60. Okay. So if I was to describe that table, then I haven't actually dropped that field. I've just renamed it. Now, um, one thing you need to be careful with on here is you need to specify all of the all, all the options that define that field. So, as we can see beforehand, um, that was it was not a, it was not null because I didn't define that here. Um, it's just gone to the default value of of yes. So, my ideally, what I should have done was let's drop that again. Uh, let's uh, add that back. Um, let's describe the customer table. So there we go. Let's see where the null was set to null. No. Um, what I want to do is change the email to uh, email address back to email. Give it a varchar sixty, but also specify not null. Okay. So you need to 
uh, make sure that you you, you copy the uh, options uh, that uh, were previously defined on the the column that you wish to change. Otherwise, they're just going to revert back to their default states. So if I hit that now and then hit describe, you can see that the only thing that's changed here is the the, the field name. So from email address to email, I've made sure that the varchar is exactly the same. And I've also made sure that the null uh, value here is, is both set to no. OK, so that's uh, that's how you add, uh, remove, or uh, in MySQL's terminology, it's drop. Uh, and change a, uh, a field.